announced it was closing its location in Taunton. Many of you wanted to know what that means for the Silver City Galleria. Although the mall is now home to a gym, a community college branch, and a bowling alley, it's been losing retailers at an alarming rate. Iowa Just News reporter Julianne Lima spoke with the mayor of Taunton to find out what the future holds for the property. It's all new at 530. Taunton's mayor says he expects the mall's owners to make their specific plans public in the next six months or so. But he says some big changes are coming to what was once a great mall. The Silver City Galleria is a skeleton of what it used to be, gutted of its retailers with the ghosts of stores still haunting the outside. The mall will once again flourish again, even though it will not be a, a mall as you see today. With Sears closing, the Galleria has now lost all four of its anchor stores. It no longer has a restaurant after Bertucci's closed back in April. When you have these downturns, you have to look at them as opportunities, and we're doing just that. Mayor Thomas Hoy says a decade ago, the mall was paying the city more than $4 million in property taxes. Now that's down around $500,000, so it's, it's a big swing. Hoy says the mall's owners aren't abandoning the property. Instead, they plan to revamp it. I think there'll always be a retail component to it, but I also think over the next few years, you'll see it transitioning to a residential component and possibly a light industrial and manufacturing center as well. Meanwhile, the mayor is still awaiting a decision from Congress on whether to allow the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe to build a casino in the city after plans were halted last month. Springfield is up and running. Everett will be up and running uh, shortly. This region in the Mashpee Wampanoag Project First Light should have been up and running first. And now uh, certainly it's not going to be first. So, you know, hopefully the, the gaming community Commission will, will still award a license in this region should the Wampanoags be un unsuccessful in Washington. Hoy tells me he used to think a Taunton casino was a guaranteed thing. Now he says there's a 50-50 chance it happens. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. All right, everybody. It's ID84, the Wicked Explorers. Today we go to a mall that will not be around very much longer. It is the Silver City Galleria in Taunton, Massachusetts. I was fortunate enough to go to this mall uh, probably a few, it's been, about, it's been a couple months since you guys have seen this now. And uh, you know, I'm not quite sure what the status is while you're watching this mall, but when I was there, several stores in a particular wing had, uh, you know, six day left signs on it. And it didn't look too good. One of the entrances was, was locked altogether. Uh, I assume that they're building a wall to basically separate one half of the mall from the other. It looks like that because they're in all the stores they were trying to get out of were in that one wing. Uh, I don't believe there's any anchor stores ex uh, alive at this point. Um, one open the anchor store, that's it. And um, out of seven. And the mall is just desolate. So I'm going to take you on this journey of... Silver City Gallery, give you a little history of the place and uh, follow us through what could be gone by the time you're watching this and if not, get there soon because time is a wasting on this place. The City Civic, 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 the Silver City Gallery uh, is located in Taunton, Massachusetts, 2 Galleria Mall Drive. It was opened March 1st, 1992. And, well, it says it's closed. Well, I'm reading the research right now. February 29th, 2020. So that would have been, geez, five days ago they closed this. I was filming. I'm doing this on uh, March 5th. i got to look into that and see what's going on with that because I'm not quite sure if that's true or not. Um, it was built by Ad Inc., which is actually a architecture firm in Boston, in which I applied for multiple times when I was in college and did not get a job. Uh, the store... The mall has 90 stores and services, as I said, seven anchor stores, and only one is open. It is one million square feet of floor space, two floors, 4,900 parking lots, parking spots in the parking lot. Civil City Gallery, it was, uh, so I'm reading as a past tense because I guess we've missed this. It is gone. Was an enclosed two level super regional mall located off Route 24 and Route 140 in Taunton, Massachusetts. It covered a leasable area of 1 million square feet and served multiple cities and towns in the region, including Taunton, Brockton, New Bedford, Fall River, Somerset, Rayham, Assinant, Bridgewater, Lakeville, Ashnet, which I never heard of and I lived in the state my entire life, Middleborough, Freetown, and Stoughton. 
The mall's facilities include 90 retail spaces and 10 screen cinema, a food court, a center court, and a children's play area. Security was managed by IP International. History of the mall. The mall opened, as I said, March 1st, 1992, designed by Ad Inc. and planned and developed by a pyramid company. Around the same time, several other malls in the area, Independence Mall in Kingston and the Berkshire Mall, were being built. When this first opened, Silver City was seemingly situated in the middle of nowhere. The surrounding area is forest with little no development. However, its strategic location off the intersect of two major freeways allowed it to draw traffic from the cities in all directions. The modern mall quickly became a popular shopping destination in southeastern Massachusetts, bringing fatal competition to many of the small local malls, such as the defunct Mill River Mall, which I've never been to or never seen, but I know it's defunct. All right, so this is one of the wings right here. This is the uh, f this is the wing actually that I believe they were going to shut off, but apparently they're shutting the whole mall down, according to this article. Um, there was nothing down here, and the few stores that were down here had like you know six day left uh, signs on it, so. This mall could be closed, but I actually worked in this mall once uh, when I was with the sneaker company, and uh, this was early 2000s, and this was always a popular mall. This was always a place where people wanted to go. We always talked about it. It was a little bit of a drive for me up on the North Shore, but the few times I was there, uh, prior to about 2010, it was busy. It was a popular mall. Everyone came here. It was one of the biggest malls in the state, and it's uh, just a little unfortunate what's happened to it now. 2002, the Silver City area was purchased in a joint uh, venture between General Grove Properties and the Teachers Retirement System of the state of Illinois, which is very interesting, in a $6,340 million deal. I hope these teachers weren't banking on any profits from this mall for their retirement, but uh, geez, it seems to be uh, kind of crazy. In 2016, two people were stabbed in the mall, and others were stabbed in nearby residents beforehand. Two victims, uh, two of the victims died along with the attacker who was shot by a police. The attacker had a crash, had crashed his Honda Accord into now the closed Macy's store. Uh, the incident occurred around 7 p.m. The attacker was identified as 28-year-old Arthur DeRosa. According to DeRosa's sister, he checked himself into a local hospital the night before the attack and was released the following morning. He was reportedly mentally ill and had been struggling for depression for years. The attack started when DeRosa crashed his car into Maverick Street located near the mall. He then started running around erratically and attempted to break into numerous homes, eventually breaking into one house and stabbing Patricia Slavin, 80 years old, and her daughter Kathleen, 48, with a kitchen knife. Patricia died in the hospital where Kathleen was being treated for life-threatening injuries. Rosa stole the Honda from the house, crashed into the Macy's, stabbed two more people at the Batucci's restaurant, and assaulted three other before being shot by an off-duty police officer. One of the stabbing victims, 56-year-old George, Heath was killed while trying to rescue the other stabbing victim, a pregnant 26-year-old waitress who ended up surviving. Crazy. I remember when this happened, too. It was just, you know, four years ago almost. Um, and this was pretty much the dagger in the mall. Not that the mall wasn't already struggling, but this pretty much laid out the case that no one should be going to this mall no more. Since the crash of the stock market and the Big Rig recession of 2008, Silver City Galleria has seen a sharp decline in both traffic and finances. Many realtors closed the stores about replacements in 2000. In uh, March of 2010, it reached an estimated 75% occupancy, very low for industrial standards. Some of the more notable nation brands have left, including No Navy, Max Rave, and Pac Sun. The ex exodus of tenants only amplified the financial troubles plaguing the mall. The mortgage of the mall, Midland Loan Services, went into default in November 2009, and in 2000, September 11, negotiations to sell the mall fell through. This is, uh, we're walking right now, this is interesting, because it was creepy, because the wall, the store on the left right there is a toy store that I popped into, and while I was there, everything had to go, everything must go. We're walking into the center court right now. Um, this was another mall I had videotaped about a year ago, and lost the video during when I lost all the information on my phone, as I said, got a couple other malls, so I was happy to get into this mall, uh, you know, five days before they closed, which is really getting close. Uh, I, I unfortunately missed the Hanover Mall that just recently closed uh, about three weeks ago. I'm trying to reach in to get into that mall to videotape, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But this is the center court right here. Movie theaters is up the escalator. Um, you had a huge anchor store to the left, which I believe was the Macy's. Um, and then 
you know, up there was the up of the going up the escalator was the movie theater. It was very odd. They had paper over all the skylights, like paper pieces of paper. I believe it was to basically probably to keep it cool in the summertime, so they didn't have to run the air conditioner. It just looked very very ghetto. And the mall is in pristine condition. If you're looking around, everything's spotless. I mean, for a thirty something year old building, or close to thirty year old building, I should say, it is pretty much like great condition. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, they maintain it very well. The parking lot's a little rough. It could use some love. But as for the building itself, it is purely in great shape. And it's a shame that this once thriving mecca of economic, uh, you know, prosperous, prosperousness is now going to be abandoned. And we're going to get into what's actually going to go on here um, soon. So, <laughs> in... May of 2009, the mall was foreclosed again by the branch bank and interest company due to an unpaid mortgage loan. On May 17, 2009, the Silver City Galleria was sold for $7.5 million on an auction. On Wednesday, June 19, 2019, uh, Therabolt Developments, the new owner, said that the LL, that JLL, the mall's former owners and management, would continue to manage the mall while the developers would own it. They also would say they would stay open and, and as, act as usual. On October 17, 2009, it was announced that Bristol Community College would be leaving the City Gallery in 2020. On February 4, 2020, six interior tenants were abruptly given notice of termination, with the only tenants to remain those with dedicated entrance on the mall's west side or the rear. The mall's main entrance was also closed at this time, with signs directing shoppers to entrance near Regal Cinemas. <clears throat> the mall was closed for good on February 29, 2020. So, here we are. This is President's Day, February 18th, 2020. Literally 11 days before the interior of this mall has been shut down. You cannot get back into this mall. You can't go in this mall. Um, I don't know how you get to the cinema. I don't know if the cinema has its own entrance. I don't believe it did. It could have. It could. And I just didn't really look. But all these stewards, gone. Nothing left. And it's sad. We're walking through a pretty much history right now. If you are, uh, are any explorers out there really want to uh, check this out, there might be a way to get in. Um, this place right here, round one was interesting it's an old Sears they converted into a basically a kind of like a Dave and Buster's type place other than those stores there's nothing going on the food court had one restaurant in there it was sad it was lonely there's not much I could say about this place it's just it's the condition of the mall itself was, was phenomenal uh, to say the least it in a weird location it was in the middle of nowhere but it's right off the highway maybe mall really bad management maybe the mall was too big it's hard to say it's close to the Providence Place Mall which is probably about 25 minutes away which is a bigger mall uh, also in the other direction about 25 minutes away is the South Shore Plaza both malls doing fairly well near this mall is the Brockton Mall the Westgate Mall as we already documented which has never been a big mall and it's a dying mall, but it still has more life than this place does. It's very airy walking, especially down this corridor where there was two restaurants that used to be there. And I'm not quite sure where the Pachuchis was, where the poor little waitress attempted to get stabbed and the other guy who tried to save her ended up dying. I'm not quite sure where. I, I think it was to the right here. But... Everything, if you look into the restaurant windows, is in exactly in place the way the day they left it. Furniture and whatnot and decor. Knowing that no one else was going to go in there and that was it for the stores. They were done. I am happy I got to see this mall before. It's eventually tear down. They were talking about putting a casino there for years. Now that legal gambling is in Massachusetts. But we're not quite sure. It's tough because there's already a casino close by that's a slot parlor. You have the Rhode Island casinos that are close by. And of course, the new one they built in the Boston area. 
So there's really not a demand for casinos, and unfortunately, Taunton was supposed to be the first town to receive said casino, and unfortunately, stuff fell through, and they may never even see it. So what's going to happen to this land? I don't know. Outdoor shopping? It just doesn't seem shopping's going to stick here. It's probably going to become an industrial park. That's basically what it is. It would be a great place for something like a, a, a Amazon to go there, but... It is what it is. So thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you here with the rest of the video to kind of just follow through. And um, if you've been to this mall, please share your comments below. Let me know some information about it. And if you know what's going to happen to it. If you know if it's closed for sure. And if uh, you haven't been there, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of uh, one of the great ones in the Boston area. Gone. For good. Y'all have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and all of our adventures. And hit the little alarm button up there to get notified every time we have a new one. And as I said, leave comments, requests. We, we read them all. We answer them all. And uh, we're very happy for you guys to entertain you. So have a great day. And enjoy the rest of what is left of the City Silver. City Silver. Silver City. Galleria. Bye, guys.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so whenever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.